In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add a Google Maps location to Canva. Now I'm going to cover how you can add your business or your location to Canva. I'll also show you how you can make this so it is interactive and how you need to export it. So let's jump into it. So the first thing that you need to do is obviously open up your document. And from here, you can find a location to put your map. So I'm going to put it here. Now we need to go to apps in the top left hand corner. You might have to scroll down to find it, but look for apps and then do a search for Google Maps. Now, once you've done that, you can choose this one and it should then add it to your document. You will need to choose what template you want. I'm going to choose the first one. So we can drag that where we need it to go. So now we've got the Google Maps element on Canva and by default, it will be a Colosseum in Rome. Now we need to go to Google Maps and find our location. So head over to Google Maps and then obviously choose a location or find your business on Maps. Let's say, for example, I own this farm. We want to click on our Google Maps page and we need to load it up just like this. We can then go ahead and copy the URL for that map and you can head back to Canva. Now, if you click on the map element, you'll see an edit button, click edit link and then remove the link that's already there by default and then paste in your own link that you've just copied, then click enter. It should then recognize the location and add the map. So there we go. We are now pointing to this farm. So now what we can do, we can go ahead and essentially export this. Now, if you just wanted to export this as a PNG or a PDF file, the map location will be there. People will be able to see it, but they wouldn't be able to interact with it. If you wanted people to interact with it, you'd have to go to public view link and this will create a link. And if you copy this link and you open it in a new window, this will link to your design and people will also be able to interact with Google Maps. Only by doing it this way will you be able to get an interactive version of Maps. But if that doesn't matter to you, you can just share and download this and export this in whatever file type you need.